Welcome to the instruction video of the LearnBot Hepatico Jejunostomy. For the artificial organs made by the Heidelberg team, see the link below. For this interrupted anastomosis, we start with a standing knot at the 6 o'clock position. And this knot is tied intraluminally to optimize the exposure in the duct. For the LearnBot experiments, all hepatico jejunostomies are made with a monofilament 5O suture with a 13 to 17 mm needle. Driving the needle through these tissues and suturing the knot should be done with great care since the biotissues are very fragile. In this simulated session, we tie multiple knots with one suture, but in the real life setting you would not do this since the graspers of the robot could damage your monofilament and this could result in breakage of the suture. Now we have completed the standing sutures of the posterior row and we move towards the corner sutures. The two corner sutures are tied extraluminally and from here on you should take great care not making any strictures. So always keep the exposure of the posterior duct. Now for the last part of the anastomosis, we move to the anterior standing sutures. For the anterior wall, it is essential to limit traction and the anastomosis. This can also be prevented by readjusting the liver retractor. And remember, the robot has no haptic feedback. For more information, you can visit the eMIPS website. Glad you made it all the way to the end and thank you for your attention. You can stay up to date by subscribing to the channel.